Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 22 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where we get into uh, or quadrupling. So let's jump into the episode and see how it's done. All right, we're hopping right into this next one. Uh, it's been just like about 15 minutes or so. And uh, we're already rolling in the quartz now. Like, okay, we have one quartz right now. Uh, we did have more, but I, I spent a lot of it on getting laser IO stuff set up. So with that out of the way, though, it allows us to start focusing on handling the deep slate pebbles here and these uh, chunks. So we're going to set up a line right here. Uh, I think we're going to take out the floor here for one, two, three, four spaces. Uh, put in some advanced universal cables here, and I think we can make a uh, flux plug. No, point. Uh, so once we get this flux point here, All right, so we get this flux point. We'll set this up down here. Again, we're just gonna attach it to the network here. And that that's it. That's our power for what we're going to be working on. Uh, next, I would like to set up a trash can here. Um, on top of said trash can, I'm going to want a laser node. And we're going to want a chest on this side of it. Now, on this laser node, uh, we're going to want down to have an item card, not channel white, but we're going to have this channel black or seven. Okay. And we're going to get a at laser, a basic filter here. So we can just go right into this, put it in here. Uh, we're going to want to have these deep slate pebbles in here go into this. Actually, we could actually have this on channel zero, but because we're filtering and we're only allowing deep slate pebbles to go through it, uh, it means that when we connect this laser up to this, like so, we'll see the pebbles coming out of here uh, off of channel one and uh, or channel zero and going into the trash can so we don't get a build up of these deep slate pebbles we don't need them don't want them we have plenty of deep slate cobble here so yeah. Now it is going to back up the system just a little bit, just a little bit here. And there, once it's done, it starts clearing it out. Now, we are going to want another one of these basic filters here. We're going to uh, set it up with all of these chunks, zinc, tin, copper, aluminum, gold, 
and we can just shift click these into here. All right. Uh, we don't have iron, lead. We've got to make sure we don't uh, double up on any of these. Osmium, palladium, or platinum, silver, and we're, I think we've got 10 already. Yeah, we already have 10. So. There we go. That should be all of these ore chunks in here. Um, we're going to make this channel orange. Okay. Uh, and it's going to extract here on channel orange. We're going to set this one up as an insert on channel orange. And we're going to stick it into that side. Uh, down, we're going to stick this in here. We've got to make sure that this goes up to 8. We don't have any of the... Uh, oh, we forgot to put the filter in. Okay. What we're going to do here is we're going to add the compact upgrade in here. And it's going to compact it for us right here in this diamond chest. So we should be fine doing that and uh, having all of the stuff here. The aluminum has not compacted. I don't know why not. Uh, it's nothing left from the previous filtering. So I do not know why that's not doing that just yet, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out here shortly. So the first thing we're going to need is a chemical injector. Um, let's see here. Can we make... see here uh we can't make that tier can't make that yet okay we can request this one uh, I, I hope we have enough of the stuff all right Okay, okay, so we're going to need some more basic alloys, which is osmium with redstone. I thought I made enough of this stuff between episodes. Um, I haven't automated this yet, so I really need to get on to that. Uh, 16 should be fine. Stack of osmium. Okay, so we'll take the the enriched redstone here, send it through this, making up these basic circuits. I think it's taking twenty at a time. Yes, it is. So that's that's why we did sixteen. Oh my god, what no, I don't want I don't want your garbage. All right, so uh it is this one right before this. Okay, so we've got the purification chamber, which we'll have to make another purification chamber. We'll have to make another enrichment chamber as well. Okay, so we got a chemical injector here. Uh, let's get a purification chamber. Okay. 
was a purification chamber. Um, trying to remember, it comes out of the purification chamber as clumps, and clumps need to go through the crusher next. Um, we'll need a couple things of lava for it. And then it goes through an enrichment chamber. Oh, we're going to need definitely one more uh, thing because we're going to need a, another furnace down here. So we're going to definitely do this. I'm going to make a furnace real quick and I will be right back. Okay, short little uh, fix later. We've got us the obsidian furnace here that we just had the augment um, factory into it. And yeah, now we've got that. Uh, what I want it to do is input from the left and output to the top. And so we're going to set up this this way. We're going to set up the uh, chemical injection chamber here, the purification chamber here, uh, the crusher here, and the uh, enrichment chamber here. Uh, I've also went ahead and made these tier upgrades. So if I'm remembering correct, it is a base, basic tier, advanced tier, elite tier, and then ultimate tier. You cannot just right click the ultimate tier. You actually have to go up each of the tiers here. Right. And the reason why we did this is a little bit of a twofold reason. One, to make these run faster, uh, have more chances of doing multiple items at one time, because we'll just hit this. Uh, Auto sort, I guess, auto sort on, on the factory. And then we can side config that output left input. Yes, that seems good. And we can just have it uh, auto eject on. And we'll do that to all of these. Just make sure that the auto eject one is available for all of these. All right. Okay, so we'll make sure that the trash has no nothing to do with this. And we'll say gas on the back. We want the extras on the back. Okay, so. All right, so. And I think the purification chamber also needs the extra item on the back. Um, so now we're going to set up a laser uh, system. From here, from from our system here, all the way over to this guy. 
because we're making salt already. So we can actually say uh, at laser. Um, we can get a basic item filter here. And we're going to need, oh, we already have the item cards. So we'll put the item card in here, setting to the west, which is the back of that. Uh, we'll say this is an insert. It's going to insert on channel three. Yeah, we're going to have it channel three. And we're going to say salt. All right, so salt now can come into this. So we'll connect this laser up like this and on this guy we can have a one of these set up for channel three I uh, will set it to extract at the max amount right now uh, we still haven't added anything. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull the salt out of here. See, the salt is going down. And we can come over here and see that this is getting hydrogen chloride, which we need to process these ores to... The next tier. If you notice there, it actually ran us right through that salt really quickly. So, the uh, purification chamber here is going to require uh, oxygen. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, it requires oxygen, which we could take from Flint. I mean, we literally have nothing for Flint right now. Um, or we can separate it in an electrolytic separator with just water. So that's what we'll do is make an electrolytic separator. If you want to know why, I just like saying electrolytic separator. All right. Uh, we need two osmium, an iron, and gold. Two osmium, an iron, and a gold. Okay, so we can come over here to the crusher real quick. Side configuration, we're gonna turn the ejector off and just toss those right up in there to make our electrolytic separator. All right. Uh, all right, there's that. We've got the electrolytic separator made. Uh, I am going to say for this, we're going to sneak off here right behind the purification chamber all right we'll set the power down there and i know i know a little bit sloppy here But, uh, you know, it, it's Malcor's mess. 
Uh, we need a pressurized tube. I think it's pressurized tube, right? Pass, no, not pressurized tube. Uh, universal cable. It is not logistics. No, mechanical pipe is water. Pressurized tube is gas, right? Yes. So we can make that. Can we make the next tier? Uh, how about the next tier? Do we actually have the stuff for the elite? Uh, do we have it for the ultimate? No. All right, that's perfectly fine. We can set this here. We can set on this side configurations. We'll set gas configuration. I think it's this side that we want, side two. So we'll say gas configuration, we'll say output two. Okay, so it's going to push it right into here. So we could actually make a sink uh, for this. We have any buckets in here? We should come over here still from this sink. Uh, if we actually had laser IO on this, we could actually uh, have it just pump right over to it. So I might do that later when we're cleaning this up. Uh, but for right now, I'm just setting this up so that it's there. We got a, uh, at pipes, a fluid pipe wrenched into that. It's making Oxygen and hydrogen. Oxygen is being blocked from this hydrogen that I accidentally put into the system. There we go. We got oxygen going back into that. And we want to set this to dump excess on the hydrogen. The reason why is uh, if we don't, it's going to stop that. It's not going to keep filling this up. Um, no, we have enough salt. Oh, no, no, no. I told your brother I didn't want any of your junk. Uh, we can take these salt blocks here. We'll, we'll manually do this for right at this second until we start uh, building up a surplus of salt, which will happen. And I notice here it is not doing that. So, so what we need to do is send this through the enrichment factory. Give it a few moments to build up some salt here. And since this can't take salt, it's not going to be able to push it. All right. Wow, this is, this might actually, we might actually have to do, um, the thing for this, I'm uh, just looking here, purification chamber, no, uh, it is chemical injector, hydrogen chlorine is hydrogen and chlorine. Well, we're getting hydrogen from the one stuff. Chlorine is co comes from an electrolytic separator of brine. 
Yeah, we might have to do that method uh, here shortly. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it between episodes here. Let you guys know if we might not be able to do this. Okay, so that's processed to this, the copper shards. Copper shards now produce that. The crushers crushing those just perfectly. Um, I know, I know, I know, it's, it's not, I'm, I'm still trying to figure up here how we're going to, uh, export from this into that below. So. I think there is an exporter. So give me a moment. We're going to take a quick look here at sophisticated storage. At sophisticated storage. Here we go. Um, pulls item from blocks on top and or pushes them to blocks below. There we go. And I think the advanced one lets us filter, so. Let's make the advanced one here. All right. Yeah, we can click this and I, I think that it will prevent the pushing. So I'm just going to put this salt away and I will be right back once uh, I see if this is working out right. Okay, guys, I'm going to make this last section here real super quick. Uh, what I want to do is set down one of these evaporation control uh, systems to make brine. And the reason why is the salt idea, well, was an interesting idea. It just was not producing fast enough. Uh, eh, huh. Oh, well. Oh, well. We didn't need that anyway. Okay, so, yeah, we know what island that is. What I want to do right here is put a valve here and a valve here. Then...
All right. All right. So we do have it formed here. We're going to do this here. See, it reforms again. And we've got these advanced solar. We can place on top of this. And those will be pretty much making this heat up faster. You can see that the temp is going up. So we're going to have water coming in from uh, this sink that we already currently have. And it's going to come in and it's going to make brine for us. Okay, so we can take this laser node right there off. And we're going to have a chemical infuser here. We're going to say this can dump the excess there. Okay, and on this side, we're going to set down an electrolytic separator here. We're going to say gases. Uh, do not auto eject, okay? Um, gases will come, or the fluid for this will come in from the back, okay? So we have the ability to input from the back. So we've got this elite. Uh, oh, that's a pressurized tube. Mechanical pipe. Uh, do we have a configurator? Because we're going to need a configurator. Yeah, I thought I'd made a configurator because we, we were messing around with this earlier. Uh, and we're having this come in. We're going to go right below these two here, like so. We're going to just slap some advanced processing stuff here on this and it's going to make chlorine and sodium well we're going to tell it to dump the excess sodium and on the right here we want it to output the second item so it gets put into here this makes hydrogen chlorine for us which now we can take a elite pressurized tube. And there we go. It will automatically eject this into here uh, whenever we have brine. However, because it's nighttime that it doesn't want to make the brine. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get this brine made up here. See if this w is starting to make the brine now. Yes. It's like pretty much eating up the brine as soon as it's being made. And there's no way of speeding this up unless we heat it up. 
anyway guys that is it for this episode uh we have this fully set up automated uh 4x ores now i think it is let's double check here this goes into the chemical injector yes 4x ores so Uh, we do have uranium and platinum setting here that needs to be added to this wall of stuff. So I am going to do that between episodes, guys. That is it for this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike button. And leave a comment down below why you disliked it. Join us over on Twitch where we do stream this live uh, sometimes and uh, maybe come and see why, why I've started doing factory style buildings here. Uh, preps and stuff instead of just randomly spreading out. Uh, so see you next time. Until then, later Gators.